Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Live, another Frilici Friday. We are gonna have some fun today, ladies. Oh my goodness, it's fall, kind of. Got the like, the allergy season is happening here, so I'm a little nasally <laughs> sounding. Um, but anyway, in spite of how I sound, we are, well, doesn't really matter what I sound like, right? We're gonna have lots and lots of fun today. Featuring, this is what we're gonna play with today. Sorry, I'm like a little like bouncy already. Okay, so this is the Regal Flora stamp set. And then there's an, a beautiful set of dies that goes with this stamp set. So love these, the stamps that we'll be using today. So hello, Miss Susan. And then great sentiments, some kind of different ones like wishing I were there to give you a hug, sending love your way, and then thanks and missing you. And I had so much fun with this stamp set. And then also, so I did, so what's cool about this is this is the kind of stamp set that you can use to kind of, I would say, create your own designer series paper, which is kind of what I did on one of the cards. And then on another one, I did some stamping and some die cutting. So these are the Regal, let me make sure I'm saying that. Yep, the Regal Flora dies. So you can get the stamp set, you can get the dies, or you can get the bundle and save 10% by getting both the stamp and dies together in the bundle. So you can see some of the images that are in the stamp set. You'll be able to cut those out with the dies and then kind of some, um, cut, that's like a cool label, kind of can go that way or that way. And then just some fun kind of texture that you'll create with that die right there. So we'll play with those, you'll check those out. We will have lots and lots of fun, again, with the Regal Flora stamp and die set today on Freelichi Friday. Um, let's see, I'm gonna scoop these back over here so I keep track of myself, right? Um, what else, you guys? Lots of fun things. Actually, I feel like this is a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna, can I do that? There, I don't know if that's straighter, but that's gonna make me feel better. I don't know if I'm straighter or not. I'm probably like crooked in life though, right? <laughs> Anyway, so lots of announcements with Stampin' Up! starting October 1st, which was just Tuesday of this week. So first of all, we have a kit sale going on. So they have been um, putting out two new kits every single month for, I don't know, probably the last year or so, I would say. Um, so there are a ton of new kits to choose from. There are two brand new kits that came out in October, and everything, including those two brand new kits that they just introduced, are all up to 30% off the whole month of October. So check those out. Lots of great, I think, you know, they come in a cute, let me show you um, an example of one. I happen to have one right here now that I'm thinking about it, right? So I don't even know which one this is, but this is how they come in a cute little stamp in a box. So similar to Paper Pumpkin, um, this is essentially the exact same size as a Paper Pumpkin box that you can get mailed to you, but this is different. So the, oh, this is actually a really pretty one. So this is how kind of comes like this, right? This one is, well, they're all, well, they're all cute, pretty, you know, fun, kind of just depends on what you're looking for. But this one is called the Christmas Ornaments Kit. So again, I haven't even opened it. So this is how the package comes to you. So it gives you uh, like a picture of the ornaments that you'll make. And then there are all the contents. And then included in there also are pictures and instructions on how to put the ornaments together. They actually give you some bows for the ladies that don't like to make bows. They've actually already made your bows for you. And then here's some other fun little embellishments, cute little pine cones and berries and things that you'll add to these pieces, some beautiful kind of gold um, circles that you'll use to create your ornaments. So this is an example of just one of the kits that you can get, like I said, up to 30% off right now. And there are probably, I don't know, I'm gonna say like 20 or 30 kits that are available right now. So check those out. Again, they come in this fun little box on sale. Paper pumpkin, now I'm trying to remember. I feel like maybe there's a paper pumpkin sale too. So that's separate though. So paper pumpkin is when you subscribe, you get the kit every month, you can stop one month, kind of pause your membership. Um, these kits are a one and done. So you order based on the item code, um, like anything else you might order from Stampin' Up, um, but there's no kind of recurring subscription, I guess is what I'll say for these kits. So just so you know on that. <clears throat> What else do we have going on? 
Oh, 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 you guys want to know about the starter kit special? So they have an awesome deal. Basically, I always love to say if you're thinking about putting like a decent size order in, say an order of $100 or more, think about getting this starter kit if you don't have it already because it is such an awesome deal. So right now during October, so the whole month of October through Halloween on October 31st, you get to pick $155 in product and that's going to include the new online exclusives that I'm going to tell you guys about in just a couple minutes as demonstrators or in a starter kit, which then you become a demonstrator, um, you can get those online exclusives. So we can pre-order online exclusives as demonstrators and then also in the starter kit you can get those online exclusives so that's one of the best things <coughs> excuse me about um being a demonstrator not that you have to demonstrate anything basically you're a demonstrator if you buy the starter kit and you want to get the discount which is probably what over 99 percent of us start out as is uh, I just love this stuff and I want to get a discount on it. Um, I know I'm jumping all over the place. So, um, oh, I know. But what I was going to say is one of the best benefits of being a demonstrator is that you get to pre-order. You get to get catalogs early. You get to pre-order online exclusives early. You get to pre-order out of any of the catalogs early before customers do. So basically, you get to see stuff and get your hands on stuff before anybody else in terms of customer side of things um, can get those things. So that's a huge benefit of buying the starter kit. Also becoming a part of our Inkspired Stampers group or team. Uh, all levels, like I said, people buy the starter kit generally just to get that 20% discount on their future orders. You can do anything you want with it. I'm here to support you if you want to do more with it. Obviously, I have, and I, I started out true as well, um, just wanting to get the discount. Hello, Gay, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, so it can happen very organically if you move into having classes classes or parties with your friends or that sort of thing, but you don't have to. There's no pressure. Um, that's what I say, <clears throat> excuse me, about Stampin' Up! The beauty of it is it's here for you however you want it to be a part of your life. And it can kind of change as your life changes too. So if you have more time, great. And if you fall into a situation where you have less time, that's fine too. And then you can kind of ramp back up when um, you have more time for it. So it kind of ebbs and flows through your life too, which is pretty darn awesome. So again, back to the starter kit deal. If you're thinking you are interested in placing an order, like I said, anything over $100, why not pick $155 in product? You pay only $99 plus sales tax, whatever the sales tax rate is in your state, and there's no shipping on the kit. So that 11% shipping waived on the starter kit. So right there, an awesome reason. What did I figure out? I think I did the math. It's basically like getting $78 for free if you buy the starter kit. Because if you bought $155 in product and you paid your 11% shipping and your 6% sales tax here in Michigan, it would cost you, and I didn't even write that number down, but more than $104.94, which is what the kit is <laughs> in Michigan, so $99 plus 6% sales tax, you save $78 on the starter kit. So seriously, why would you not do that, right? So if you have any interest, if you have any questions too, like what, what does it mean to be a demonstrator? What's my commitment? Um, let me know. I'm happy to answer any of those questions. Basically, you don't have to buy another thing if you don't want to, but honestly, I don't know why you would ever do that because you get a 20% discount on everything you order after you get the starter kit. So if you have any questions, again, please let me know. Okay. So then, like I said, online exclusives, they stampin' up, I think they're doing it like three times a year. Um, they introduced some brand new online exclusives. What I wanna mainly touch on, and I printed the flyer that doesn't include everything. They're kind of, um, I kind of wish they would give us flyers for everything, but they're just not for whatever reason. Maybe, maybe they'll change that. But the big thing to know is um, Valentine's Day, which I know is a little ways away, but Stampin' Up! is always planning ahead. They told us that there aren't going to be any kind of Valentine Day or sweets or products in the upcoming mini catalog that'll come out in January. So it's going to be online only. So here's an example of some of our products. I think there are some things I haven't had a chance to check, but I think there are possibly some Valentine-y um, type of products in our annual catalog. We'll have to check that out. Um, 
Um, but again, there's not gonna be anything in print in the next mini catalog. So if you're interested, this is an awesome new bundle. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I don't think I'm gonna be able to see. It's a whole suite of products. So they have um, the Hearts of Elegance stamp and die set. There are some adhesive backed heart sequins, some gift bags combo pack. You get 16 stampable bags eight each in two different sizes and some gold twisted thread. And then also some marbled elegance designer series paper. So you guys can see <clears throat> there is that marbled elegance designer series paper. We were just able to order these things. I think it was October 1st. I just actually put my order in this morning. Um, so I am getting some of these things. Um, but I mainly wanted you guys to know, to kind of keep that in mind. As customers, you can start ordering November 4th for these online exclusive products. But here are some examples of some great things, like those are the gift bags right there that they stamped on that one right there. And then you can see all the cute little hearts that are in the dies. Again, now can I read that? I think, what was it called? The Hearts of Elegance Bundle. So I'll flip. This is kind of another. So here are the heart um, embellishments, the little gift bags, the gold cord, the stamp, and Dysa. And then there's actually another hibiscus. I love hibiscus. So there is an embossing folder, a set of dies, and a stamp set. And those are called the Happy Hibiscus Bundle. So you can get the stamp set, oops, right here, the stamp set, and then the embossing folder and dies separately, or you can get them in the bundle. There are other products as well, but this is all in terms of like printable flyer. So there's another like an otter suite that is really, really cute. So there's a stamp set and dies, some cool Lost Lagoon, um, I'm gonna call it a ribbon, it's like a, a cord. It's called cord, I think Lost Lagoon cord, but it looks, you know, it's kind of like twine, but it's, it looks shinier to me. Um, and then some cute um, designer series paper as well. So just know that as a demonstrator, you can order right now. As a customer, you can order these products starting on November 4th. And I'm sure you're gonna start seeing lots and lots of those products out there um, as demonstrators order them and start playing with them and sharing what they're playing with and making um, online, okay? So let me know if you have any questions on those online exclusives, okay? <clears throat> so I'm trying to figure out, I don't know if anybody is commenting yet or not, but I'm not, what if I go, I think if I did that, right, so swipe the other way to see comments, okay, so I'm going to bring that back and I'll see if I see any comments come up, ha ha, <laughs> there it is, thank you, okay, Susan, good, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, good, all right, okay, awesome. oh yeah, so, okay, so seriously, so Susan's been commenting this whole time, okay, yeah, so I must have to, I'm going to have to remember that if I like swipe over and swipe back. So you guys have been commenting because sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself and because all I saw was that um, a couple people so that Susan and Gay are watching. And then let's see, we've got, okay, yes. Yeah, you guys are all commenting. Thank you for your comments. I'm sorry that I missed those. So keep on commenting and then I can actually, I can follow along with you guys now. So, okay, good. We're back on track. I was thinking, I'm like, it's so weird because people aren't that quiet usually. I know I'm not that quiet, right? Okay, um, I think we are ready. Let's do our first drawing. This is the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. I love these gems. I can't wait to use them. I feel like they're a good, like, kind of Christmas and winter gem. Um, so we're going to draw for these gems right now. As usual, your name is in here if you shared our last Facebook Live video. Um, if you shared it to a group, you actually get five entries in here. Uh, let's see what else. If you posted a picture of a project that you've made right here on our Stamp Studio Facebook group, if you commented, comment away because one random post gets picked each Facebook Live and anyone that comments on that post, your name is in this basket right here. And then also if you sign up for my email list. So lots of great ways to win. It's so easy, right? To get free stuff around here. Okay. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. Won't go away. Yeah. I can't figure out. I think it's allergies and then sometimes it acts more like a cold. So I don't know. It just needs to go away though. I've been taking allergy medicine and cold medicine and all kinds of natural supplements and it's been hanging around for like two weeks. So I'm ready for it to be gone. Okay. All right. So here we go. As I digress right into all my ailments, <laughs> which are really not that bad in the grand scheme of things. 
Okay, so who's our lucky winner? We have one in my hand. <laughs> Miss Susan, who's watching right now. Congratulations. Miss Susan, you are the winner of these faceted, what are they called? The faceted gems trio pack. So I will get these mailed out to you. Congratulations, Miss Susan. That's kind of fun. I love it when people that are watching are actually, you know, when you win and you actually like watching. So how fun is that? Okay. All right. So on our next Facebook Live, we are going to draw for these are, I think they're the, called the Druzy. The Druzy Adhesive Backed Embellishments. I don't know, but they're sparkly and beautiful. That's what I know. So we've got some silver and some gold and kind of smaller and larger. Can you guys see those? They're beautiful. They're actually on low inventory. So pretty soon they're going to go unorderable, I would say. If you want to order them, let me give you the item code right now. So order them before they go unorderable. Uh, 164223 is the item code. Also, you could win them right here, right? Share this video, sign up for my email list, post a picture of a project that you've made or comment on one of our uh, posts right here on our Facebook group and you could win these on our next Facebook Live, okay? <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, I, I realized I don't think I have a mint and that could be a problem. I've got my water. Mm -hmm. I may have to run out and get a mint, we'll see. I jinxed myself probably by saying that now. So, okay. So what is so weird is, are there more? Okay, we're gonna swipe over that way. We're gonna swipe back and we'll see if any more. Okay. Um, what else do we wanna talk about? We talked about both of these things. So I'm gonna move these out of the way, right? Um, how about, let's give a congratulation. <laughs> Susan, you're kidding. I'm not kidding. You won. <laughs> That is awesome. Uh, so yes, I want to give a huge congratulations. I had, oh, okay, good. All right, I was because I was gonna say, yeah, you got kicked off. Oh, yes, you're welcome. Yes, I'm glad. That's so fun. I can't believe it. <laughs> you're kidding. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, so huge congratulations to a couple of our inspired two of our inspired stampers team members who just promoted so we had stacy decker who uh, promoted to bronze elite so very very cool she now has eighteen hundred dollars in rolling 12 month sales which means she gets she earns now a 25 percent discount or income on everything that she orders or sells instead of a 20% discount. So that's the big thing with Bronze Elite. Get to $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales and you earn a 25% discount. The really cool thing is she did that just before retitling on September 30th. So she meets her title requirements for Bronze Elite and she'll keep that title requirement for an entire year. So October 1 through next September 30th. Even if her sales depth excuse me, dip below $1,800 in rolling 12 months, it doesn't matter because they don't look at retitling again until next September 30th. So congratulations to Miss Stacy on her promotion to Bronze Elite. And then we had Miss Trish Hall who promoted to Silver. So Silver is when you have $3,600 in rolling 12 month sales and one team member. So she just did that in September as well. So congratulations to Trish on reaching silver status. So in that case, she's definitely getting her 25% discount on her orders. And then she's also now going to start earning a 2% product bonus based on her quarterly sales that Stampin' Up! essentially gives her a credit. They figure out what's your sales for the quarter, what's 2% of that, and then they pop that into um, your demonstrator profile because I actually just looked and I'm like, ooh, my product credit is there. So I got to spend a little bit of that this morning already, which is kind of one of the reasons I was holding off um, on waiting to order because I knew I wanted to get these online exclusives and why not get them free or some of them free right with your product credit when you promote to silver. So again, lots of great reasons to get the starter kit through Stampin' Up and do it through me. Why not? Or someone on my Inspired Stampers team. Love to have you be a part of our group as well. So again, if you have any questions on the starter kit too, let me know. Okay. <coughs> mm, okay. So with that being said, with those couple of promotions, I was really 
really, really, really close to whether I would earn the Disney incentive trip through Stampin' Up or not. And with those couple of promotions and I had to put another little order just to get myself over the edge. So it was so funny because I think we need like 40,000 points to um, earn the trip. And I had like 40,034 points or something. So I definitely finagled that in at the very last minute. I was like, okay, need a little bit more in sales. So put my own order in and put, put it over the top. So basically on September 30th, earned the incentive trip. And I want to say thank you because it wasn't just, you know, what happened in September or at the end of the month. It's what happens all year long. So thank you each and every one of you for supporting me as a demonstrator, hopefully as your demonstrator. I know you have a huge, like lots and lots of people to choose from in terms of ordering. Um, so I truly appreciate and thank you so much for your support and for helping me earn that incentive trip to Disney. Um, looking forward to that, just kind of relaxation and fun in the sun. So thank you guys very much. And hello, Miss Linda. So yeah, I don't even know if we'll go um, to the resorts or not. I guess we'll see. Barely, you know, just earned it. So now I got to think about how that's all going to go, but not till next May. So we've got some time to kind of figure that out. But thank you guys. And just thank you, thank you, thank you so much to every single one of you for your support. I truly appreciate that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. Okay. I think, oh, one more quick announcement. Um, one day retreat. I still have room for more people. The thing is, it's coming up on Saturday, October 19th. RSVPs were officially due um, this past Monday, September 30th. Now, if you have any interest in joining us, it's October 19th, so just like two weeks from now. Busy, busy, busy prepping for that. Um, let me know. I need to know ASAP if you think um, if not, if you think, if you want to, you have to like firmly commit, yes, I want to do this. Give me a firm RSVP payment, $64 for the day. Love to have you join us. Um, I still have room for more. So, but ASAP, because I have to get the, um, what are the, the goodie bag ordered for you and make sure I have everything prepped for you too. So um, yeah, let me know if you're interested in that. Okay. Or if you have any questions. Um, so now I think we are going to do our next drawing. Okay. So this time we are drawing for, this is the super duper cute. I think the dies are either on low inventory or unorderable, but the stamp set is still available. So this is, this is one of our online exclusives that came out a couple of months ago. That's been very, very popular. Lots of beautiful projects have been made that I've seen online with this sophisticated sled stamp set. Great sentiments like, let's decorate the season with happiness. I love that one. Um, I hope your days are filled with fun and laughter. That one's awesome too. <laughs> this is cute. Yay all the way. Good tidings and let it snow. And then just love kind of that vintage like sled, right? And the ice skates and the other kind of holiday decor, right? So your name is in this basket right here. If you ordered through me, oh, I should mention, if you ordered online through me, you are automatically gonna get both of these cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live as a thank you from me. You also got to pick if you had an order of $50 or more, you got to pick from, now this is the October PDF tutorial, but that would have been September. So free PDF tutorial, or the free embellishment. This is my project right here that is included in the PDF tutorial. So you can see, I mean, check this out, right? 16 projects in here. Look at all of the detail, step-by-step, step, exactly how you put all of, and you guys can kind of see, right? These are little snippets of, hello, Mr. Mike, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Can't wait to see you in a few hours, I guess, now at this point. Um, yeah, so beautiful fall projects in here too, in the demo design dream team PDF tutorial that you can get for free with your order in September, okay? Or like I said, if you don't want the tutorial, you can pick from the free embellishment as well. So, okay, names are in the basket. We are drawing for the sophisticated sled stamp set. Philomena, hello and welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Frog has not left my throat. <laughs> okay, one lucky winner. And let's see, we have Miss Gail Dinkins. All right, congratulations, Gail, you are the winner of the sophisticated sled stamp set. So thank you so much for your order. And I will get those fun, beautiful cards sent out to you. You actually get 
Um, now I'm trying to remember if the order was in September, um, but you get five free additional cards as well for your online order from September too. Okay, so congratulations, Miss Gail. And on our, where is it? I think it's tucked underneath here. Okay, yes. On our next Facebook Live, we are gonna give away, this is the Forever Forest stamp set. So look at all the beautiful, like how much fun you can have kind of stamping those trees and that imagery um, in that stamp set. Perfect for all of your uh, holiday, Christmas, winter projects, right? So this is the stamp set we'll give away with your online order um, this month, okay, in October, before our next Facebook Live. We actually, because of my one-day retreat, I've bumped, like normally I would do my Facebook Live the Friday before, but it's my one-day retreat on October 19th, so I'm pushing Facebook Live out one more week, so it's actually going to be a couple weeks from now on, it's going to be Friday, October must be the 25th would be the date. Um, so a couple weeks from now, we will draw for that, what's it called again? The Forever Forest stamp set, okay? Um, all right, I think, let me check my notes, but I think we are good, yeah. Okay, so I have a few more things I wanna show you guys, but I wanna flip the camera down so we can um, you can see them better so they're not backwards too, so, okay. Flip your, or flip, flip your heads, turn your heads away. We're flying through the air as usual. Going to flip the camera down. Okay, let's see. Got that. Okay, that's good. All right, let me give you the host code here. We'll pull that. So this is our new host code for October. We'll give you guys that host code, okay? <clears throat> <coughs> Okay, let's see. <laughs> As usual, right? The attempt at organization <laughs> pretty much never ends, okay? All right, so what do we want to show you guys? Oh, scrapbook pages. So we made some really pretty scrapbook pages last week at our scrapbook class. So I'm going to show you guys these. So these are featuring, what is this paper called? <clears throat> It is called the Sweet Days of Autumn Designer Series Paper. So we've got some cute, like, little little trees, I would say. I love this ribbon, too, which I think is unorderable right now, if I remember correctly, but it'll come back, right? And then some of that Changing Leaves um, die set right there, right? So that's one of the pages here. So this is kind of the... Doesn't really fit on there very well, does it? This is like our two page spread, but I love, this is my favorite pattern. And then there are little animals on the backside that are super cute also. Uh, and so th this, this front and back is my most favorite. I'll show you guys that in a sec too. But here is, hey, Bonnie, I didn't see you were on here. Hello and welcome. And then here is our little, so our little grateful with the little leaves and more of that, um, what is that, wild wheat? ribbon I think so those are the scrapbook pages featuring <clears throat> again this is called the sweet days of autumn designer series paper so you guys if you remember this was part of the scrapbooking brochure that I've shown you guys thank you ladies I'm glad you're enjoying these pages too so just know this is also something that's only available online this scrapbooking brochure um, and I know I've kind of flipped through a couple of different times so I won't go over in too much detail and you're not really seeing things very well are you um, but basically oh here this is like the autumn to remember this suite right here so this is the designer series paper there's some stickers there's a stamp set oh I forgot about that stamp set too as I was ordering I'm like oh I really like that one also and then some 12 by 12 cardstock Oh, that's like the back page there too. So if you go online, you can see everything that's available in the scrapbooking brochure as well. But here, this is the paper I was telling you about. My, my most favorite pattern is this one right here because it's got these fun little animals on one side and then it's got the trees on the other side, right? But look at all those cute little like forest animals. And it's not, it's funny because I'm like, is it upside down? There's no right side or wrong side. They're like going in all different directions. So not to get you dizzy there, but let's see. What else? Then this is another pattern that I used. That one right there. Oh, those are the trees. So those are the trees that I used on that other page right down there. And so I think it's um, 
It's either three or four different sheets. It's not quite as many as they normally do. <clears throat> and then that is like, um, what is this? Cajun craze and old olive kind of designs there. I think it's maybe four pages of three different patterns, right? So we've got that one that I just showed you. We've got the trees and the animals and then, yep, and then kind of the browns. So those three different patterns. Four sheets of each, so that's a little bit different configuration than we normally get. But all good, I love those light, right? Like the paper and the scrapbook pages. Fun to make those scrapbook pages too. We did have another set, but I'm pretty sure I showed you guys last month and I only could find one page. So that's why I'm not gonna share. So we always make three pages though at scrapbook class, just so you know that. Um, okay. I think we are ready. Let's do some stamping, ladies. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys this project first. So here, let's get... What am I doing here? Well, I'm going to show you this one. So this is our first project that we are going to make. And I also want to share with you because I love the color coach. Um, I will share the link to this um, on my Facebook. No, no, not on my Facebook, on my blog. So at gatheringinspiration.com, when I get everything uploaded this afternoon, I'll share the link to this color coach. So I knew I wanted to do, I've been like just really craving um, like working with fall colors. So I loved the idea of using like crushed curry and Cajun craze. And so I went to my color coach, like, okay, if I use crushed curry, what's a good color combo? And so this one I thought was very cool because it's a little bit different with um, adding in that pretty peacock. So you can see, right, we have the crushed curry, Cajun craze, and pretty peacock are what we used um, to kind of create this card. And then again, I love, right, it's basically like creating your own designer series paper by stamping all over that basic white cardstock. Thank you, Bonnie. I'm glad you like these cards. And you can find, so what I think is cool is there are just so many great color combinations. Like, I don't know that I would ever put like crushed curry, moody mauve, and uh, shy shamrock together. But then when you see them there, like that's really pretty too. Some of them don't jump out at me as much, but even like this one, this Daffodil Delight, Fresh Freesia, and Gorgeous Grape, like a lot of really pretty color combos that I would not think of. So definitely... Uh, use your color coach. I think you can find some kind of out of the box color combinations that you wouldn't normally think of um, by using that. <clears throat> okay, got to keep that aside so I remember to actually share that with you guys too. So again, we are going to play with this card was essentially created not even with the dies. It's just stamping. So it's using a bunch of these different images to stamp and kind of, again, create your own designer series paper. I think I shared these with you guys, but I want to one more time. These were our make and takes from our meeting um, a couple of weeks ago. So again, featuring this regal floor and it's what made me fall in love because I don't know that I maybe would have bought this stamp set otherwise, but knowing that I needed to have it for the make and takes, um, I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. And then I fell in love with it as we made these projects. We did a bunch of scoring on these two, which was really fun also. So you can see that little detail there, right? And then this one right here with some more. It's, this includes the designer series paper too, the, that Regal Winter designer series paper as well. But I wanted to share those with you guys again too. Okay, so I think we are ready to do our stamping. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put that there. These things can, nope, okay, they're gonna just stay right there. We used a number of ink pads. So we're gonna kind of fan these out right up at the top there. Did I bump? I don't know, I feel like I bumped things. I'm not sure if I did really or not, but okay. Oh, the other thing I wanna mention, cause I have been loving playing with, these are the in color. I think I used all of uh, what are those? The wild wheat, the kind of yellow. <laughs> there, I have a little half a pack here. So the wild wheat, or not, 
Is that right? Yep, the Wild Wee. I think that's the right color. Yep. So these are last year's in colors, the 2023 20, 25 in colors. And I think these, I have reached for them so many times this fall because, again, like this one is copper clay that looks an awful lot like Cajun craze. This one is wild wheat that you can definitely make look like crushed curry. Even these are just kind of a neutral, like these across the top, pebbled path. Um, I haven't used kind of the boho blue or moody mauve quite so much, but even the moody mauve is kind of feels like a fall color too. So if you need some fall colored embellishments, I would definitely and highly recommend. These are the 2023-2025 in color opaque sparkle dots. They are item number 163782 if you need that info. Okay, yeah, so you can see I kind of sprinkle them on my card. So again, these are copper clay embellishments, but I think the they work perfectly with um, Cajun Craze as well. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see. I wonder if I can help myself out by putting these on top of the colors I'm gonna be stamping with. We'll see, and then that one, and then that one's gonna go there. Okay, that might be a big help for me later, ladies. <laughs> okay. So we are going to start with, and I kind of wore my, um, right, my crushed curry shirt. I got it actually, it's more like maize, like maize and blue Michigan colors. So this is kind of my maize shirt if I need like a maize from maize and blue Michigan. Um, yeah, <laughs> which things are going better than expected this year after football wise, uh, winning the national championship and losing our coach and um, lots of players been kind of pleasantly surprised at things. So we have a rematch too, you guys, of the national championship game on Saturday at 7.30. Michigan plays Washington. So maybe I'll wear my May's shirt. We'll see. Okay. So back to stamping. All right, so this is pretty peacock cardstock. So along the eight, no, sorry, the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. Nice, Susan, go blue to you too. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so this is our card base right there. Then we have a piece of crushed curry and basic white. So the basic white is five by three and three quarters. And that's gonna layer just slightly over that, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh yeah, the Tigers game too. Um, yeah, is that on maybe earlier today? So Linda, did I say Lost Lagoon? Because this is pretty peacock. Okay, good, 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 good. I was like, oh no, maybe I said it wrong. Okay, good, yes, I know. I love the pretty peacock too. Okay, so this um, crushed curry piece is five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. Lance, hello, welcome, how are you? Mike just joined us a few minutes ago. I, he's gonna be very excited to know you popped on Facebook Live too. Not many guys are willing to do that. <laughs> Say hi to Sue for me too. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, let's go Tigers also, Miss Susan, absolutely. Okay, so this piece of cardstock goes on the inside. This is five and a quarter by four inches. And we just did a little more stamping on the inside there, right? <laughs> okay, so I gotta make sure though that I don't, that I stamp on the correct things here, right? Okay, there we go. Then I just have some strips of crushed curry and basic white to do our stamping and tearing. I was tearing cardstock, I haven't done that. And so, oh, Sue says hi too. <laughs> awesome, I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> That's so funny. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, um, now I'm all like, what am I doing? I'm all like distracted. Okay, so we are gonna stamp now. Okay, ladies, so let's see. We're gonna, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the inside piece first so I can get that done and out of the way. Okay, <clears throat> so we have our Pretty Peacock ink, which this is my favorite. So this is the stamp right here. I think it's those little spreaky things right there that I just <laughs> love. There's something about like, this is the stamp that I like want to put on every envelope that I send to everybody now. It just that cute little, I don't know, leafy spriggy thing. It's kind of just love it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use our Pretty Peacock ink because it matches and coordinates with our Pretty Peacock cardstock, right? Okay, so we're going to stamp that one right there. Isn't that beautiful? Like, check that out. That is, there's just something about that. Just want to stamp it everywhere. Okay, so we're going to put that one back right there. And then we're going to grab some crushed curry ink. Okay, 
and we're gonna just stamp that right over top of that. So that's all we did on that one right there. Just kind of the inside, put that in there just to decorate it up a bit. Okay, so now the fun really begins. We are gonna start, let's scoot this one over here. Okay, we're gonna use our Cajun Craze ink, first of all. Okay, and I'm gonna get this one open too, so we're all ready to go. So that was crumb cake. I'll kind of walk you guys through that. Okay, so we're gonna start with, mm, I think I wanna go that way, right? Okay, we're gonna start with, this is Cajun Craze. We're gonna do one right there. Okay, and then we're gonna do one right down there. And these, it's interesting because look at how much darker that is when I first stamp it and it lightens up quite a bit as time goes on. That's interesting. Okay, next I'm actually gonna do, we're gonna do Pretty Peacock, my favorite spriggy stamp. We're gonna do one there. So again, this is kind of like creating your own designer series paper, right? We got that one there. Okay, then we're gonna add in our, what color is this? This is crushed curry, yep. Matches my, my Go Blue shirt. Okay, and I think I didn't space that out quite as much, but we're gonna actually, maybe we'll put, no, we're gonna do that right there. It kind of adds in a little bit, right? Okay, now we're gonna finish it off with these little dots. I love these little dots. Um, this is, what color was this? This was crumb cake. We're just gonna kind of fill those in. So do you see, it's like we've created our own designer series paper and every single one of these is gonna be a little bit different and so it's supposed to be kind of random. Just left that little bit through the middle there to kind of run um, that sentiment through. Okay, I think we're good. So we're gonna close these up and I'm gonna wipe that off so that we don't get ink all over. Oh, you know what I do need? This is perfect, my last one. I need my Pretty Peacock ink. We are going to stamp hoo -hoo, very carefully. Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Just a beautiful fall card. Sending love your way. Okay, let's see if we can do this, right? With the camera right where my head should normally be. That's not too bad. I'm gonna see if I can get the L down a little bit lower. That's why I brought just a few of these. Yeah, that's kind of crooked. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. And we could always um, turn it over too. I, these all fell down on the floor. Did you hear my body creaking as I tried to <laughs> pick those up? Okay, there, that looks like the best one. <laughs> hi, oh, hi Molly, how are you? <laughs> that's so cute. Thank you, I'm glad you're enjoying this card, Miss Sue and Miss Molly. Thanks for joining us, ladies. Um. Okay. So let's see, we're gonna get rid of these two, save those for another day. Okay, so this is the fun part, is this kind of ripping. I haven't done this. So I think it, it kind of, you know, gives it that little, <clears throat> I don't know, weathered, worn look. Actually, I wanna kinda, let's kinda angle that a little bit more, right? And we're gonna make this one just a little bit wider than this. So we're gonna kinda just, I it, eyeball it there, right? Okay, so we're gonna add that one right on there. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you're enjoying this as well. We're just having some fun here today. Okay, my chamois, I realized. <laughs> so I went to grab it and it's, well, this one is hard as a rock. That's the one I normally use to clean this little baby off and I forgot to wet it. I do have my other chamois, but I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see, I think, oh, I need adhesive now. Okay. Here we go, we can put our card together. Okay, ladies. All right, so we're gonna add our piece of designer series paper that we made, right? We're gonna add that on to our crushed curry base, okay? And then we're gonna add this on to our card base. I'm gonna add some extra adhesive there to make sure Oops, I just realized. Uh, let's see, there we go. We need this one right here, don't we? Okay, so now I want to, I'm gonna just run a bit of adhesive, and I believe that this 
twine. What is this called? The Natural Tones Linen Thread. I think it's unorderable right now, but I had to use it because I have it and I think it works so perfectly. It should be coming back. Most things, it seems like, um, are unorderable, but are going to be available to order uh, yet this month. So put it on your wish list and as soon as you can order it, then go ahead and do that. Okay, but I had to show this to you guys. So I love, I call this the loop and tack method. So I just added some adhesive and then I'm just kind of looping and tacking. And then I need some scissors. We're gonna just kind of trim that off. Okay, so, and we can always trim that up a little bit if we need to, but I think that looks good there. Okay, now we are going to add our adhesive on this little guy. We'll do a little bit more there. Okay. Kind of do that, right? And then we're going to grab some dimensionals, which I think are right here. So we're going to just put a couple of dimensionals, and this will help kind of hold um, that twine on. Oops, that would be upside down, so that's not going to be good, right? Okay. So we'll kind of do that there like that. There we go. Okay, now last step is to add my most favorite fall gem right here. Yes, okay, so uh, Linda, colors in here, Cajun Craze, right? So it matches our Cajun Craze ink and cardstock, Night of Navy and Garden Green. They're beautiful fall colors. Item code is 164071. And I even, look at that, I even wrote them on here for myself. Copper clay, garden green, and night of navy. <laughs> so that when I couldn't think of them, right, I could just, they would just come to me because they'd be on that little, my little cheat sheet there. Okay. So again, these little dots, I think they're not Cajun craze. They are copper clay, but I think they look an awful lot like, and I love, can you guys see in just the right, I don't know, I'm not really getting, it's a little bit dark and dreary here today. The sun is supposed to shine later. Um, but there's a little bit of sparkle there that I'm trying to share with you guys on these. I don't know if you, maybe you can see it a little bit more there. As I'm looking at the camera, I'm like, I don't feel like you can see the sparkle at all, but I promise there's a little sparkle in there too. So there we go, sending love your way. Oops, that's right, we gotta put this on the inside too, don't we? Let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> here we go and add that guy on the inside there we go card number one okay let me get these things cleaned up I am gonna grab my chamois now because I know I am using well I'm trying to remember now how many of these colors if it's the colors or it's the stamps <laughs> I don't know but I'm cleaning the stamps and I'm going to keep most of these ink pad colors. No, I think it's just pretty peacock that we need. I'll know in just a sec. Okay, there. Using my chamois. Maybe we will just kind of do that. Oh, that didn't help at all, did it? And I actually just cleaned this. I soaked it in some water the other day, and it was amazing how much ink came off of it. Okay, so I don't think we need these three. Put those there. Okay, next project, ladies. Here we go. So this one is kind of a stepped up version. What if I put that right there? Um, yes. Okay, so wishing I were there to give you a hug. So this one I use, this is Pretty Peacock, Granny Apple Green, and Pumpkin Pie. So another kind of maybe not totally traditional. I just am, I know we've used Pretty Peacock on our fall cards before, um, but love that, right? And so then I wanted to show the difference between um, the Granny Apple Green and then the Pretty Peacock. So thank you guys. I'm glad you liked this one also. Ooh, and I used a new embossing folder too. Can you guys see that? It's a big one. Check this out. It's a huge, it's called the Forever Plaid embossing folder. And don't forget, I'll give you the item code, but I'll give all of these details on my blog this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. So this one is 164049, but I'll get everything uploaded, colors, uh, dimensions, item codes, products, all of that that we're using on these cards. I will get that uploaded this afternoon. 
<coughs> okay, so yes, these are our three colors. Again, Granny Apple Green, Pumpkin Pie, and Pretty Peacock are what we're going to use. Okay. Okay, so, and I did do, oh no, Stormy, here's the neighbor dog. He's barking, so Stormy's going to have to say hi too. Okay, let me just put those there. So there's some kind of double, I guess, if you will, that I had to do. So like, well, this, this are duplicates, right? So, and I only have one of the dies, so I already kind of stamped ahead and die cut ahead so you guys wouldn't have to watch me do all of them but we're so we've actually got these three things right here so we're going to stamp and die cut the rest of everything on here now okay so i'm going to just leave that right on there to kind of remind myself actually let me tell you guys about dimensions here so again we're going to start with a pretty peacock card base it's like my favorite fall color again 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 same idea along the 11 inch side Cut it at five and a half inches on the eight and a half inch side. We scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay. Again, we put a piece of basic white. <laughs> that is too funny. Your dog's here, my dog. My <laughs> that's too funny. So what is funny is because it kind of drives me crazy that he barks all the time. And then Mike was here and he was like, Amy, they're just like talking. Like the neighbor's saying, hey, Stormy. And Stormy's saying, hey, neighbor. <laughs> I think his name is Cooper. So anyway, it's just kind of cute. Like I've never really thought about that, that they're like having a conversation because it just sounds like barking to me. But yeah, so your dogs are saying hi to Stormy too. That's awesome, Linda. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so basic white standard layer, five and a quarter by four inches. Okay, so that's going to go on the inside, <laughs> Susan. You're like laughing, crying. I know, I know. We're going to emboss this piece also, standard layer, five and a quarter by four inches. And then I've got scrap pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. So we're going to put that one right up there. Okay, so this one I am going to die cut with that label first, and then we're going to stamp inside there. I think no you know what we're not because as I was I'm saying that I'm like maybe it is easier because I think I got really lucky that I did that well so yeah we are going to stamp this first so we're going to ink that up right on there okay and then we'll die cut that and then this is for that little piece we're going to scoot those two over there we are also going to stamp so I don't need this one do I now I'm getting myself confused. I left everything out from the last card. I'm like, what stamps do I need here? But I think we're gonna do it. Okay, so I need a little flower, which is this one right here. I'm gonna do this one in pumpkin pie. Isn't that so pretty though? Just gorgeous. I'm so glad I got this stamp set because I don't think, you know, when you look at it here, it's not done justice, right? But when you, doesn't that look so much better in color, right? Okay, so we've got that one. Then we're gonna grab our pretty peacock ink and we're gonna do our little spriggy thing. My favorite stamp again and all the kind of texture and detail in there too, beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna add in some other little leaves with this one right here. So we're gonna use granny apple green. On that one right there and again this one I think lightens up too it looks a lot darker there than it does there I think and then on the inside we're gonna stamp that those cute little this little baby right here let's just do that we're gonna get these guys out of the way though okay and oh yeah here we go we're doing this one okay so let's use this little flower I had used pretty much all of the stamps in the stamp set but I hadn't used that one so I'm like okay let's put that on the inside of the card so I think I used other than like the little thanks and missing you those are the only two I haven't used right those two little stamps everything else in the stamp set we used on these cards so I think I think that like I feel good about that that makes me happy okay let's do our die cutting I wonder if we're going to be able to put all these on one run through not sure how about we actually, let's do our embossing first too. Okay. Okay. Getting the plan together here as we're working, ladies. Okay. <clears throat> okay, because I want to show you guys this embossing folder. 
also. So Forever Plaid 3D Embossing Folder. This is what we're using right here. Look at it, it's huge. You can do so much with this. It's like a five by seven. The other dots one, there's like a circle dots that are like that too. Really big, it's almost as big as the, the embossing plates, right? Okay, cranking our handle through here. Check this out, ladies. Gonna have so much fun. I love plaid. Gonna have lots and lots of fun with that embossing folder. This holiday season, I would say. Okay, now for the fun. See if we can get these guys all on here. Okay. So it's really more so, I mean, it will all fit on here, but it's whether the dies and the magnetic field are going to cooperate with us. But let's see what we've got here. Okay. Okay. So here are all the dies because I think when I showed them to you, they were backwards also, right? So we're going to use this guy on there. This is this detailed little baby. We're going to do that. We've got that one, that one, and I already used that one on the big flower. <laughs> yes, it is a keeper, Linda, I would say. <laughs> yes, definitely a keeper. Okay, we're going to flip this one. I don't know why that seems like it's upside down to me. And this just has to be on the paper, so that's the easiest one. Okay, that one looks good. That one looks good. We'll get this one lined up. I don't want to jinx it, but so far they're not winging all over the place like they do sometimes. Okay, I think we're ready, ladies. Did anything move that one? Oh, yeah, that one moved a tiny bit, didn't it? The cool part is there's a lot going on with this card. So even if you die cut things, maybe a little wonky or something, I don't think it's going to be the worst thing in the world. Now I will say I want to go, I'm going to go back and forth a couple times on that super detailed one because it did take me a moment um, the other day. I was kind of poking through quite a bit. So sometimes if you kind of crank back and forth a couple times, that'll help die cut things. Okay, so that one looks good, right? That cool little label, because then we're going to put this piece that you can't see, right? We're going to put that piece down on the bottom. So that's why it looks. And then there is this other little um, kind of frame to pull that out later. But that's something that you could use for another project. I have a number of those. Beautiful, right? Okay, so we've got that one. Oh, love that one too. Okay, so let's get these guys off of here. We've got this little leafy one. That one's good also, right? And okay, let's see, did I do myself any favors? I think that's gonna come off fairly, e fairly easily, but we shall see. I'm gonna grab this little guy and this little guy. <clears throat> And this thing too. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I think I got most of them. Yay, look at that. A couple to kind of poke through, but the other day when I cranked it through only once, I was like poking a whole bunch of like many, many of those did not come out. So, okay, we're gonna try not to like tip that too much so that those little pieces. So we're gonna just pop a couple of these things out, right? There, okay. All right, that looks good. So ladies, I think we're ready to put things together. Let's see. Everything's kind of all over the place. <laughs> so let me try to pull it back together, see if I can do this. Okay, so we're gonna start with our embossed piece right here. And we're gonna add that to, oh, somebody's, I don't know, somebody walking by. And I love doing this, the kind of color on color. So, um, because I don't, what I don't like to do, and I used to do this, was just emboss like this half of the cardstock, but I would much rather 
um, cut another piece and emboss that and put it on top. I think that's definitely the way to go, I would say. Okay, so we're gonna put this one on the inside. Boy, he is Barky McBark today. All right, <clears throat> actually, let's pull that back in so you guys can see what we're doing here, right? Okay, so now we are, <laughs> okay, we're gonna run just, I kind of like to just do little flicks of adhesive and I'm using my little silicone mat so that I don't get adhesive all over my stamp. What is this called? My, not, not my stamparatus. Um, what is it called, ladies? I'm totally drawing a blank now. I think it's good. I can't think because Storm's barking. I'm going to blame it on him. There we go. We're going to put some dimensionals on that. And so let's actually, we are going to add this thing and then we'll kind of fill in the flowers and so on around it. So I think I've got all those. Yes. Okay. So here we're going to go. This one, wishing you were there. Okay. And I am going to do I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive there and there, and then I'm actually going to put a dimensional. So I don't like when things are raised like too much or kind of off kilter, I guess I would say. So I only put a dimensional behind here because these are kind of layering on top of that part right there. And then same thing, we are gonna add a little bit of adhesive on that one right there. And then these guys all kind of fill in behind. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of these and then just kind of pop them in behind things. Okay. Oops, and one stuck to my finger. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna kind of put that one right there. Mm. So the only thing you have to think about is your dimensionals and are they kind of <laughs> obstructing where you want to put things. So just kind of keep that in mind. Sometimes I'm like working really hard to get things where I want them and they won't go because there's a dimensional back there. Um, What do we got? Oh, thank you, Philomena. So that, this is not my idea, adding that layer on there. If you guys notice... So this meeting planner program that I am a part of, Rhonda Wade had designed this card and I loved how she did that. So I, I definitely took that idea right there from her adding that little detail on there. I thought that was a really good idea. So thank you. Can't take credit, but I do love it as well. Okay, so last step is we are going to add <clears throat> some bling, right? Because Linda, we, we know, right, bling is king. Okay, so we are gonna add some gold. What are these called? I'm gonna have to look. These are called the adhesive-backed metallic gems. Okay, so we're gonna just add a few of these in between our flowers. And we have our second card created. Okay. <laughs> always, always have to have the bling, right ladies? <clears throat> Okay, so you guys, thank you so, so much for joining me again today. As always, don't forget, if you order through me, you're going to get both of these projects as a thank you for your order, right? You're going to get your name entered into the drawing to win the Forever Forest stamp set. Awesome, awesome stamp set, right? And then you also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial for October or the free embellishment for October. So thank you guys so much. Always lots of goodies. I love to shower you with love and presents and products. So thank you for your orders and for watching today. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.